I find this hilarious, this, because JJ has flown in from Switzerland with a collection of his Hoyer watches. Jonathan here, Vintage Hoyer. Everybody in the world knows Jonathan Scatchard from Vintage Hoyer. And you've got two very similar watches. You're so yes. geeky, you two. It's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> what are we looking well, at? I didn't think I could, and I can't top trump anything here. No, but okay. JJ showed me this. Yeah. Beautiful. This is one of JJ's. Yeah. And Triple tell us what day. it is. It's, we call it the triple date because you've got the day, the month, the date, plus a 12-hour chronograph. Yeah. You've got the extra long lines every three minutes here. Yeah. Which are called telephonic sections. In Switzerland, if you made a long-distance phone call, you got charged for every three minutes. So that made it clear that if you were coming up to your next dash, you're going to get paid anything. No. Yeah, it's, it's, you'll see it on many, many chronographs of that period. Absolutely. I said you were geeky, you We're too. geeky, yeah. this is geeking <laughs> out on a big level. <laughs> so it's a particular, it, it, okay. it doesn't compare with that, but with the moon phase, and this is unique, Yeah. but this is in beautiful condition. Okay, and this is JJ's, this direct is JJ's from Switzerland. This is the box that I really envy, which yes. sounds really sad. Yes, that, no, 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 I get the box, I, I get the box envy, I really do. So JJ's brought this to show you, yep. what do you want to show then, JJ? I've been into the safe, we've got this little box that's nothing like is nice but it's a german retailer okay and the story of this is somebody from canada contacted me and said they've got a family watch and then told this amazing story about it cool. so it's 1948 this is that sort of period open the box <laughs> <laughs> 1948 yeah triple date look at the condition of it i mean goodness me has it's it like ever it been worn? worn no it hasn't it hasn't been worn no is the bracelet original? No, we'll no. put that on. Okay, tell me about anyway. this this one. Okay, so there's a worn one, very lovely, patinated, but this yeah, one Yeah, but is... this is in great condition. I would be very happy to have yeah. that. It's, but that's been exposed to light, etc. Yes. Okay. But this so, is basically brand new from yeah, 1948. Amazing. Yeah. So tell us the story. Why is it brand new from 48? This chap's grandfather, German, emigrated to Canada in 1948. You couldn't take money with you. You couldn't take cash out of Germany then. Very difficult times, obviously, just after the war. So often they would put money into gold or jewellery or something that they could then cash in at the other end. So it was a way of spending their cash on something that was that was valuable. And this chap had the foresight to, to buy a beautiful Hoyer watch. Hoyer was really, really prominent then. It was such a brand after the war with all the chronographs. So it was a famous brand, something he knew he could sell on, but thankfully for him, never had to sell it. And so it's gone just... through the family, but it's been sat in a drawer. And this chap, the grandson now, he said, but we don't wear it. It's a shame it's going to need servicing and everything else. So I was very keen, obviously, to buy it. It's a museum piece. So buy it, we did. And we also gave him a modern tag hoyer to wear because he wanted something to remember his grandfather's watch by. So he's got something he can wear and not worry about and a load of money as well. And um, we ended up with that. What are you doing with it? It's on the website, reluctantly. <laughs> so obviously somebody wants to buy it, they can buy it. How much is it? 15,000. 